Hello friends! Today we are going to be drawing a tractor. This is for my good friend Parley. Parley is five years old, my neighbor and the cutest boy around, and he has been begging me to make a video on how to draw a tractor. So Parley, I'm finally making you one. I'm going to use my iPad, but you can just use paper and pencil at home um, and markers. That's what I love to use anyways. So we're going to start by drawing two wheels. First the back wheel, and I always use a pencil first, so we're just sketching it out. It doesn't have to be perfect, just make your rough sketch. So we've got two circles, one big, the other one a little smaller. I'm going to erase that part. Now we're going to be making the body of the tractor. I have a confession. I have lived in Idaho my whole life and have never ridden in a tractor. Um, and definitely never driven a tractor. <laughs> um, okay, so now we're making the body. We made the two round parts that go over the wheel. Um, now we're going to be making this part over it. Now we're gonna make a straight line up. This is the top, I guess you would call it the cab of the tractor. So it's kind of just like a nice big square on top and then a line down the middle to make the second window. And this is the smokestack. I actually don't know what that is, but it looks cute. And here's the top of the tractor. Okay, and then we're doing three lines. Those are like the vent, I think. I don't know, it looks cute, right? Okay, now we're making another wheel inside of the wheel, like a circle, and another circle. So you have a total of three circles on each wheel. And then we need little bumps on the wheel. Um, for traction because those tractor wheels have big grooves. I don't know what you call them. We're gonna call them rectangle bumps. <laughs> oh, all my farmer friends are very disappointed in me with my tractor knowledge. Okay, so now that we have this sketch down, um, what you would do is grab your markers and just draw right on top of your pencil. But because I'm using my iPad, I can just make another layer. I made my pencil layer a little lighter and now I'm going to be adding the markers on top. So I click my inking and I pick black because I'm going to make my wheels black. So just grab a black marker and just draw right on top of your pencil marks. Um, and I can draw a lot of things, but I cannot draw a perfect circle. I don't know why it's so hard. So with my iPad, it's really nice. If I draw the circle and hold it long enough, it makes a perfect circle um, with my little app that I'm using. But you don't have to, it can just draw the best circle you can. Um, now I'm going to grab green, because this is gonna be our John Deere tractor, or whatever, what, any color you want of tractor. It can be pink, it can be purple, it can be brown, whatever you want. Um, so now I'm drawing the body of the tractor, and it doesn't have to follow my sketch perfectly. Oh, made a mistake. Okay, I'm just gonna hit undo. Oh, I love that feature. I wish we had the undo button in everything in our life, whether we uh, said something we shouldn't have said and just said, oops, undo, or did something dumb, we can do undo. Okay, and so now we're doing drawing the cab. All right, and the line, and this line, and draw over, yep, okay. Oh. And, oh, see, undo. I'm telling you, an undo feature, you can just quickly quickly undo it, would be very nice. All right, now I'm going to draw in the smokestack. Okay, now I'm going to start filling in the green areas. This part is the most relaxing to me. I love to just draw and fill things in. Um, one feature that my iPad has that is very nice is I can just grab the color and drop it in. So um, if I had time, I would just slowly color everything because I love to do that, but we're just gonna speed this up and I'll just drop the color in. But if you're using paper and marker, just keep coloring. Take your time and enjoy it. All right, I used gray to fill in the center of the wheels and now I'm going to go back to black and make, make our little rectangle bumps. <laughs> I still haven't decided what they're called. Traction, is that the word? I don't know. We're just gonna make these nice bumpy wheels. And I think this is what makes it look the most like a tractor, are these awesome bumps. All right, almost done. They don't need to be perfect. Okay, now I'm going to grab white and we're going to draw our three lines for the grid right there. 
and then I forgot the steering wheel. So you just draw a little line right there and that's the side profile of your steering wheel. And guys, there we have it, our tractor. Parley, I hope you enjoyed this and everyone else enjoyed drawing a fun tractor.